It was the most expensive painting by a living artist sold at auction. Benefit supervisor Sleeping by Lucian Freud fetched more than £17 million in 2008. The picture is of Sue Tilly, now a St Leonard's based artist who's creating her own work and inspiring others. A unique exhibition at Hastings Museum features paintings of celebrities done by burgeoning and professional artists from all over the world who joined Sue's live streamed art and chat show during lockdown, I went to meet her. A collection of people who came together to draw a collection of people. During the long months of lockdowns, one art community in Hastings took their sessions online and started to attract participants from all over the world. I think people were so bored in the lockdown and it was some people, lovely things people have said like it's like one time a week where they knew they were going to see people and like mix up with people. Some of them don't knew each other online so they were chatting online and it was just something to do that they really enjoyed. Artist Sue Tilly was famously a muse of Lucian Freud. His painting of her fetched £17 million at auction. Let me introduce... Eve. She set up a Hastings art class and when Covid forced a rethink, started reaching out to her celebrity friends. Yeah, she, Michelle Collins was a model, I forgot that. Hello. Hi Michelle. How are you feeling? Uh, a bit nervous. I've got a very wide range of strange friends, so um, I called on them. I mean, some are sort of 80s pop stars. I had Chrissy Boy from Madness, Jackie from Banana Rama. Mark Moore from Essex Express. And then we had costume designers, a lady who designs clothes for Game of Thrones, writers, and then local people from Hastings. Each week on Hastings Community Television, Sue interviewed a different guest while the viewers drew them. Author Maggie Alderson was both painter and subject. What I loved about it is that when Sue would post the, the pictures up, they were so different and you'd look at what you'd done and you'd look at all and I loved all of them. A selection of portraits have been curated into an exhibition at Hastings Museum. And when they came in to see it as it reopened it was great because they'd not met each other in real life and they were seeing each other together and it was that sense of camaraderie, it was that sense of community and it was just people coming together and, and supporting each other and doing something different. So it's it turned out really well and it's really fantastic to have that here. Together We Draw is an attractively eclectic mix of styles and materials as well as subjects, a true representation of the collective individuality of a community looking for a creative outlet and a connection. Now he's made his